Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku. Today we're on a solo mission, just me today. We are going out, try to see if we can find some squid. A little early for squid, but we might be able to find a few. And once we do, we'll go out, try to catch halibut or lingcod with that squid. I still need that 40 inch halibut. So I might try for halibut after, right after. I see a little something on the fish finder at the bottom here. Just send it down. About 85 feet deep right here. That's a squid boat right there. So they're definitely, I think they're out here. Yeah, I see a couple boats. It's a good sign. Oh my God. <laughs> I, thought that was, <laughs> I thought that was a shark for a second. There's two uh, porpoises right behind me. They're following me. I just saw the fin at first and then they came out and took a breath. They're actually pretty big. Oh wow, there's three. Yeah, people ask if I've ever seen or if I'm afraid of shark encounters while I'm, in, while I'm on the water. I've never seen a shark while I've been in the water, like a great white, because we do have great white sharks around here. There's like, oh my gosh, there's like five porpoises right around me. Um, and shark attacks do happen, but uh, no, I haven't, I'm not really, I don't know. I haven't seen any of them in person. So, whoa, right in front of me. Look at these guys, wow. Two of them right here, right under me. Wow, another one, jeez, it's loaded. Thanks guys. They're just wishing me luck for the day. I think we're gonna get them now. That's a whale watching cruise. They're checking out those porpoises that we just came across. And these guys are just coming right behind the boat. I'm just sent it down to see if there's anything out here, but uh, I think we're gonna go a little bit further. I think I got one. Yes, got our first squid. Send it right back down. Gonna fill this bucket with water. Hmm. Check it out. Yeah. You see those porpoises were just wishing me good luck. They're still sticking around here too. <laughs> so cool. The stuff you get to see when you go out into the, to nature. We might have another one, might have come off. Now I think we got a smaller one. Yep, yep, we got one. Ah! I'm hoping to get enough squid so we can eat it too. So far I only have two. That's only enough for just bait a couple times. There's another one. Ooh. Send it right back down. All right, I only have three squid, but let's go and see if I can upgrade a squid for a halibut. All right, we got our live squid on here. Halibut candy. Let's see if we can do any, any damage. We got more porpoises right here. But these are smaller. Their, their fins are way smaller in their body size too. They're tiny compared to the other ones that I saw. Pretty cool. Plenty of wildlife out here. Turning out to be a beautiful day. The wind died down. Hopefully it stays down for a while. Oh, what was that? Whatever it was, it came off. Damn it. It's been about, a, let's see, an hour and a half. No bites yet. Could have just been some seaweed that just got caught. Yeah, there's a little bit of seaweed on here. Bait looks good. Oh, still, still squirting. <laughs> All right, let's continue. What's that? Oh, I got a fish on here. Maybe a rockfish. Kind of small, or maybe not. It feels like something's on here. Uh, let's find out. 
Oh yeah, there's oh yeah, there's a fish. Oh yeah, there you go. Now you woke up. Oh actually, ooh, that might be a link cod. Yep. I think that's a link cod. Not a bad one. Oh it's a link cod. Ooh, that's uh should be keeper. Fairly hooked. There you go. Link cod. That is a keeper, looks like. Alright. Well, we're not going home empty-handed. He threw up some octopus. Like, literally threw up some mostly digested octopus. Check that out. That's not too bad. That's probably about, let's see, 20, that's probably about 27 inch. Let's give him a measure. Oh no, that's a little smaller, 25. All right. Look at this freaking octopus. Mostly digested octopus. I would use it, but I have fresh squid, which is uh, probably 10 times better than that. All right, all right. One on the stringer, no skunk. Let's see if we can get something else. Need a halibut. Oh, what is this? What is this? No. That felt like a fish too. What? Let's check the bait. Oh, this time, this time it looks like there was actually a bite taken out of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a bite. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy crap. Whatever this is, it just started taking off. What is this? Maybe another link cod. About the same area. I got the other link cod, so. Oh, it's nice. Nice fish. Whatever it is, it's a nice fish. Might be a halibut. Oh, this might be a halibut. Come on. Oh, it's another link cod. Another link cod. This one is a little short. Dang, he took that rod down. All right, well, this guy's a little short. We gotta let him, let him go. go Still have my bait. <laughs> it's a little torn up. All right, let's continue. Fish a little bit longer. Oh, there's another fish. Maybe a rock fish, this one. A little small. Yep, that's a rock fish. Rockfish season. I love rockfish. So I am going to keep this guy. But now I only have one more bait. He ate my bait. Oh, he threw this up. Some squid. Probably somebody's bait, honestly. <laughs> Alright, well let's continue. We need to get a fish. We need to get, I mean, we need to get a a big halibut. I heard somebody actually got one. A 37 inch halibut here, so that's a good sign. Thank you, buddy. Seems like I'm going over a bunch of rocks. So I'm getting these uh, link cod, rockfish. Need to get over some sand. Last squid going in. GoPro, start recording. That's another fish. This one's taking off. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> what is going on here? Feels pretty decent. Feels bigger. I think feels like the biggest one of the day so far. What is it? Maybe another link cod? Yep, it's another link cod. Uh, it's not that big actually. Still got my bait in his mouth. Oh, oh got my bait. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely looks like a keeper, but it's about the same size. Come on, man. There you go. Second keeper link cod. I'm going to let this one go because it's about the same size. And the limit for link cod is two, I believe. 
So just in case I get another one, and if it's a big one, you know, then I want to keep that one. So I'm going to let this, this one go. But it's another nice one. I mean, it's a solid keeper. Yeah. That's, yeah, same 24, 25 inch. But the most important thing, still got my fresh bait. And it's still alive. How's my line? Ooh, my line's a little bit frayed. Catching, that was, that was the third link cod. So yeah, definitely frayed. I'm gonna loop. Good thing about this rig, so this is a, a sliding snail knot. So this front front hook, or the top hook, whatever you wanna call it. I, I can slide that up. I can cut off this treble and retie a little bit higher to get rid of that frayed line. So I'm gonna do that really quick and I'll drop back down. Uh oh. Oh, I got a fish. Yeah. Another link cod. That's a link cod. 100%. Probably about the same size again. Oh, 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 this guy's kind of strong. Yep. Right about the same size. Oh, I lost my bait. I lost. He spit out my bait. Yeah, this one's a little smaller. Tell his head's small. Damn, Lincoln City today. Yeah, this one, maybe just barely 22. I will let him go. All right, well, that was my last of the bait that I caught. But I still have some stuff, frozen stuff that I um, that I had in the freezer. So this should be okay still. But halibut really love that fresh stuff. I'm over a lot of rocks right now, seems like. I know the sandy part's down this way, but the boat launch is down that way. So I don't want to go too far that way because the wind's going to pick up and it's going to be hard to get back. So I'm just kind of working my way back slowly and it's all kind of rocky, I guess. Oh my God, I forgot to turn the clicker on and my line was just peeling out but whatever it was came off. Didn't stick, just contorted my bait is all. All right, going back down. That's another fish. That's another fish. Uh, this feels small, probably a rockfish. Yep, that's a rockfish. Little guy, this rockfish is playing dead. Come on, wake up. Literally like playing dead, pretending he's frozen. I'm gonna let you go. That one was a little small. All right guys, well we were able to successfully upgrade our squid into a lingcod. So it's getting windy out here. Let's go back and uh, cook up this lingcod. Okay, we just got back home. Now let's fillet this lingcod. Okay guys, here's my link cod. This guy was about 25 inches or so. Exact same length as my cutting board almost. Just a little bit longer. All right, let's get to filleting. First I'm gonna take his head off, but this time I'm gonna take the head off in front of the collar. When you're um, cutting through the spine, if you can get it right between the vertebrae, that's the easiest way to do it. Boom, and it goes right through the bone. Because it's not really going through bone, it's just uh, going in between it. There you go. Look at these teeth. This guy's got some small cheeks, so I might make something out of the head. But today, the main thing I want to focus on actually is these right here the collars or the wings. So, let's get started. I'm starting the bottom here. Same things as always. All right, let's do this.
perfect. And when you're cutting into that meat, even though you can't see it, you should be able to feel this. That's what you're hearing. My knife going each vertebrae or each spine or the, these, uh, these bones. That's what you're hearing right there. And let me show you what we can make with these collars. Right here, this is why I left the collar on so I can get it a nice chunk right off the fillet. Right there, it's a, good, it's a good portion of meat there. On the bone. We're gonna save this and use this for our catch and cook today. So what we're making today, we're gonna use the collars of the fish we caught, the ling cod and the rock fish, to make some fish wings, or ling wings. Because these, you know, they look like wings. <laughs> and the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna soak these in some buttermilk. Okay, before I do that, I'm gonna season it just with salt, both sides. Now we'll make our little buttermilk mixture. I just got some uh, whole milk here. I'm gonna dump the whole milk in. And if you don't have buttermilk on hand, you can just make it yourself as long as you got some whole milk and some something, something acidic, like a yuzu. That's why I got some yuzu juice right here. So we're just gonna add that, combine that together. Don't need too much. And once you st stir it up a little, you'll kind of see it thicken and kind of curdle. And we're also gonna hit this buttermilk with some hot sauce. And I got some trough hot sauce here. Ooh, that's pretty spicy. I took a lick of it. On this channel, not only do I wanna show you how to make delicious food, but I also wanna show you how to use all the different parts of the fish, not just the fillet like this. These parts oftentimes go to waste. And we're gonna make the wings, but we're also gonna use just the skin of the fish as well. And we're gonna make some lingcod chicharrones. And that's a little idea I got from uh, Hank Shaw. Shout out to him. Hopefully you're inspired to do the same and use these off cuts or off, that are oftentimes thrown away. So now I'm just gonna add these uh, wings right in there. Wings, collars, ling wings. That's what I'm calling this dish. While that soaks, I'm going to make the lingcod chicharrones, and I already boiled and dehydrated them. So I'll show you that process. I took a little video on my phone. This is the lingcod skin. I just chopped it up and I'm boiling it now. Then I laid it out on a dehydrator. So the skin dehydrated overnight, completely dry now. All right, we'll throw one in there. See if it works. There we go. There it goes. It's happening. Nice. And I'd say it only takes about 10 seconds. Look at that. Nice. All right. Let's do the rest of these. Super cool. Look how they just explode and open up. I'm gonna be doing this like every time now. Little bits of the skin has some meat still on it too. Perfect kayak snack. Very healthy. Got the omega-3s in the skin, so it has the fat. Wow, look how cool that is. Love that. Now let's give a little taste test. Mm. That's so good. Here, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, furikake on here. Just a little seasoning. A little furikake chicharrones. Come and try one, Joss. Yeah. 
I thought they would be fishier. No, not at all. Yeah. Not fishy at all. Mm. That's so good. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna do this pretty much every time I have some fish skin. This is the good way to go. Because I love tutorials just in general. Now I can make my own with fish. Love that. This one's a bit of fish for you. Mm-hmm. 100% must try that one. It's so easy too, it takes no time. Okay, in here I have flour and cornstarch, just half and half, actually this one's flour. But uh, I'm gonna add more seasoning to it. Garlic powder, black pepper, cayenne pepper, and smoked paprika. All right, and then we'll stir this up. Now we'll take our ling wing Drip that off. We'll get it right into this cornstarch mixture. Get it right on the uh, right on the fin too, and then we'll drop it right into the oil. Nice. Now we'll do the same thing with the rockfish as well, which are much smaller. Oh, we'll do a double dip with the rockfish ones. So just bringing it back to the butter, uh, buttermilk and then back into the cornstarch flour. Make it extra crispy for this one. All right, should be ready now. Just in there for about eight minutes. That. Oh, almost falling apart. All right, here we go, double dip rockfish. All right guys, here it is. Some ling wings and ling chicharrones. How does that look? It smells delicious. It smells just like chicken wings. It smells like <laughs> chicken wings. All right, go ahead. Well, you can try to get rockfish too. We got the, I mean, rockfish wings too. I mean, they look like, look at look at it. Look, look at this one. This one <laughs> looks beautiful. You got a little, look at that. Like a chicken wing, but with the extra wing. <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. Try that one. This is a double rockfish is double dipped, so double <laughs> rockfish is double dipped, so it's extra crunchy. All right. Yeah. Crispy. Yeah. Little thin action too. Oh yeah. And little bones here and there. This is bone in wings. <laughs> Tender. Succulent. Got a little kick to it. I got a drink. Yeah, go ahead. We're gonna share oh, this today. Nice. Okay, you could take the first pull. Cause once I do, it'll be gone. <laughs> yeah, mm. that won't take too much. It's a little sweet, so you may not. <laughs> mm. Yeah, too sweet. <clears throat> it's sweet. Really sweet. All right, I'm gonna try the link on one. Mmm. Oh, the lean cod one. Look at this. Oh, dude. <laughs> that is so good. <coughs> There's definitely some aggressive bones in there you have to be careful of. <laughs> but other than that, oh my gosh. It tastes so good. And look at it just fall apart. There's meat in there. That's all meat right there. Literally all meat right there. Look that entire piece. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Scallions with a little hot sauce. There it is, guys. Another success. Ling wings for the win. And some mm -hmm. ling called chicharrones as well. Hope this inspires you to make some of your own. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. See you on the next Talkie Tuesday. <laughs>